Let's add flows into QRadar Community Edition. We start, and the step may vary depending on, on whatever image uh, you are using, but if you ins did the install from the CentOS from the previous videos, you notice that you only have one network adapter. And you need to add another one, which is the one you're going to be adding, in, uh, injecting the flows. Um, so I add that device and I'm going to add it as a bridge with Ethernet 1, which is the actual plug where I will connect the flows coming from my home router. That's all you need to do from here. I'm going to start the VM and I'm going to pause the video until it's, it is uh, fully up. So I'm opening a terminal to SSH into the actual box and I'm gonna do the definition I'm gonna go into go into that directory and if we see here we have the ENS 33 device but the actual the next adapter that comes at it is ENS 37 so all we need to do is create a file Thirty-seven, and all we have to put it here is the device now you can do service you know, host context restart, which is a command you need that curator needs to actually see this adapter, or you can actually reboot the machine. In case that this is your first time using curator, I'm going to show you the best way of actually rebooting the machine. I wouldn't, you know, do shutdown dash h uh, now because that may, you know, interfere with some process, some curator processes going down. So the best way of really shutting down a curator uh, CE is actually to go into the admin tab on their system and license management and click on the only device that we have in here, which is the CE, and go into actions and do restart system. Okay, or shut down, whatever option you want actually uh, to. So let's wait until that happens. I'm going to pause the video again. Now that the machine has been rebooted, we go into the admin tab under flow sources. We're going to add that flow source on that uh, port. So I'm going to call it, you know, home flows. You cannot have space in here. Uh, the, f the flow type is network interface because we're going directly with a with a cable and in here because we added that extra adapter we have the ENS 37 so we click here save and every time that you make changes in here it's good to go to the top of the admin tab because in this particular case Curator is asking us to deploy the changes and we do that I'm going to pause the video that's a quick process, but I'm going to save a few seconds here and pause in the video. So the change has been deployed. All I need to do here is go into the network activity and wait until uh, some traffic... Uh, well, I didn't have to wait long. That's actually some traffic. Let's take a look at the source IP. Yeah, that's the, my home network is 192.168.1. So we have a couple of devices there. It's very good. We're getting flows here. And the searches and filters are here the very same one as in uh, logs that we showed before. So if we want to actually filter only on the on the log sources that come from my uh, laptop that I have next to me here. So I go into source IP equals 192.168.1. 
2.168.1.3 and add that filter and actually I can go as I showed before real time to start only with that or I can go you know last five minutes so that's my laptop next to me so let me actually do a few things here like let me go into a, a website any website will do uh, open my browser here go to the website and we see actually the traffic going in there so what I did is I went into a website El Mundo.es for the Spanish news I paused the replaying in here by clicking on the pause button and now you can actually go into anyone particularly when you get a C a C here in between parentheses that means that there have been captured some content in here so I can actually go and see well let's see it mundo that is uh, I can return to the list I can filter this uh, furthermore you know you can actually begin to see I mean I don't have you know, uh, any, anything interesting here on attacks? I may make put something else in a in a later video, but uh, this is how simple it is to add flows to Curator Community Edition.